new age server alarm and I have some smoke detectors here. This is a BRK Electronics 5919 residential smoke alarm. And this right here is a BRK Electronics 2800 commercial smoke detector. So, oops, here's what's cool about these things though. I am arguing that this is the residential version of this. And here's why. As you can see, I've disassembled both of them, and the sensing chambers are very similar on them. If you look up real closely, you'll notice on this one, it's got this ribbed design, like that, with the vents and the little bug screen. And the 2800 has that too, except it's taller. See? It's got the same design, but it's taller. Also, the actual sensor assembly underneath the detection chamber looks like this on the 2800. And on the residential one, it looks like this. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. Also, the way you test one of these 2800 detectors is there's a slot right here. And the cover actually has a slot on it too. And there's a slot there and you take this card. Now for a sensitivity test, you insert the smaller end first. And then you slide it over and that checks to see if the sensor is within its sensitivity range. Then if you want to actually test it to put it into alarm, you put the larger side in, and then you slide it over, like this. That blocks the sensor, temporarily, simulates an alarm, and that activates the detector. Now, on the residential version, there is a lever connected to the test button. See, there's, there's a hole for the test button. But there's a lever connected to the test button with a little piece of plastic. When you push up on it, it slides the piece of plastic into the detection chamber. See that? Instead of just applying power to the circuit to make sure that the, that the power supply works, it actually obscures the sensor slightly to make sure that the sensor is working. So, see? There's a lever again. See? It pushes right in. You probably can't see inside there, but it just pushes it right in. And that's what tests it. There's the top of the sensor. That's what tests it. So, Whoops, I just broke it off by accident. But what's cool about this, though, is instead of just applying power to the power source to make sure that the power source is working, it actually does a functional test of the sensor. And I think for a residential smoke alarm, actually doing a functional test is a pretty nice idea. So, sucks they don't make these anymore, but... This was one of the best residential smoke alarms ever made, in my opinion. Because it also looks like a commercial smoke detector. So, there's that. Let me pop that face off real quick. There, the BRK5919. There's power cord, power connector. And here's the base, the mounting base. Now, what now what's interesting is the appearance of this mounting base is similar to the appearance of the mounting base on the 2800 detector. See how they're very similar to each other, but they're slightly different. So that's pretty neat as well. Let's pop this cover back on too. So, oops, wrong way. There we go. So there's the 2800. Here's the 5919, and that's it. So have a great day, everybody.